it's a pleasure to be here with you during this uh, exciting week. It's pretty exciting when we celebrate not just our party, but our country uh, and the better future that we can build together, uh, a future where we strengthen the middle class, where we protect our families and restore a sense of fairness and opportunity for all Americans. And I'm particularly glad to be here. I'm particularly glad to be in this room with so many strong, accomplished, inspirational women uh, on this sacred day when we remember the suffragists uh, who dedicated their lives to securing the right to vote for women. It was one of, one of the best things that could have happened, right? <laughs> And what better place to be than right here in Colorado, which I just learned about this was not only one of the first states to grant women uh, the, the vote uh, a full 27 years before Congress ratified the 19th Amendment, but is also the first state where women earned the vote through a popular referendum. The women's suffrage movement in Colorado was so convincing, so effective, uh, that they actually persuaded men to vote for our enfranchisement. Now, that's some movement, right? <laughs> so what a shining example of how people can bring about the best in each other uh, and how justice is in everyone's interest. Uh, we all know that our country's journey towards equality is not yet finished. Uh, we've got some work to do. But today, let's celebrate how far we've come and how deep our shared capacity is to break through any barriers that stand in the way of progress in this nation.